Joining us right now is Josh Kabza. He is the CEO of Burger King and Popeye's parent restaurant, Brands International. He became chief executive a little more than three months ago, and this is his first U.S. interview in that new role. And Josh, first of all, welcome. Um, three months in, what would you say have, has surprised you most, both about the challenges and the opportunities that you that you face at restaurant brands? Good morning, Becky. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Thank you so much for for having me. Uh, it is about three months in uh, to my new role as CEO. I've spent the time traveling all around the world. I've had time to spend uh, together with our guests and our restaurants, with our franchisees, with our corporate employees. I can I've come away really exciting, uh, excited about what we're doing here and what we can do in the future. I think that's the biggest surprise is just how much opportunity that we still have left in front of us. We're a large company, uh, but with decades of growth in, in front of us. And that to me is uh, that's what that's been the most exciting about the first few months. Let, let me tell you a few things that have kind of um, surprised me just looking into some of these things. Restaurant brands maybe focus on the international aspect of it. I didn't realize that 40 percent of your profits come from Tim Hortons Canada. Um, Tim Hortons Canada makes up 40 percent of the earnings. You've got 4,000 restaurants in a country of just 36 million people. I mean, that's astounding. Do you look to that and say, how do we capture that magic and spread it everywhere? Tim Hortons is an incredible brand, an incredible business. Uh, it's one of the most remarkable things that we've seen in any restaurant brand uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, we're really proud of it, and uh, it's an important part of Canadians' lives. There are some amazing things about Tim's, the, the love for the brand of its guests, the incredible franchisee network. Uh, we have about a 1,000 different franchisees, each of whom operate three to four restaurants each and there is really magic there that's what makes tim so special they know their customers they know their employees uh, and that's why people love it so much and that's that's some of the magic that we try to bring to all of our businesses around the world i think people look at the burger king u.s operations and that's where you have a much bigger challenge um it's been surprising to me to see how the chain has fallen in in recent years You've gone through a lot of different owners, a couple of private equity owners along the way, and I think the complaint has been there has not been enough investment in Burger Kings. What are you doing about that? You know, Burger King's been around for almost 70 years now. Um, and like any business that's been around for, for seven decades, uh, you're going to have great times and you'll have a few ups and downs along the way. What's really important today is we're making those huge investments you mentioned. Uh, Tom Curtis and the team at Burger King are put together a Reclaim the Flame plan. Uh, together with our group of incredible franchisees, we're going to invest about $400 million. It's one of the biggest investments by any franchisor in, in recent decades. We're putting that money behind improved advertising, and you're probably starting to see a lot more of the Whopper on TV. You've probably heard the Whopper jingle a lot. But we're also working on remodeling the restaurants. Uh, we've brought some beautiful remodels to restaurants. I was in one of them, uh, Burger King number 60, just earlier this week, uh, and it looks amazing. It really transforms the business, and we're excited about doing more and more of that over the next coming years. Well, part of the problem you have, though, is some of your franchisees, a couple of whom have gone into bankruptcy, I guess maybe the main one here, being Meridian Restaurants. They had 116 restaurants. They closed at least 20 of them. What do you do? Where, how do you get control of that situation? So we have some incredible franchisees within the Burger King system. Uh, many of them have been in the business their whole lives, some of them for multiple generations. Uh, and I, I have so much respect for, for the local uh, business owners within the Burger King system. We have had some that have gone through some difficulties, and we've been working to make sure that we get those restaurants into the hands of great local operators in each of those communities. And I think that's going to allow us to set ourselves up for success for the decades to come at Burger King.